Welcome to our final award assembly of this half term. I just wanted to say a huge well done to all of you. Um, you have worked so hard. Um, you have overcome all sorts of challenges from sharing devices to learning to Zoom, uh, to record different things, to work with your parents, learn different things. And I have to say you have been absolutely incredible. I want to say a huge thank you to all of the parents, nannies and granddads who have supported all of the children with learning. We couldn't have done it without you. I also want to say a massive, massive thank you to my staff who I can't believe have been so adaptable. You can't begin to imagine how much pressure it is to have 30 parents watching you teach a lesson whilst also having children in the classroom trying to operate technology, which our technology wasn't really designed for. Um, so thank you parents for tolerating and growing with this as we learn. But to my teaching staff, support staff, you've been absolutely amazing. So thank you so much. Um, I'm sure you are very much looking forward to your half term. Okay, so I'm going to start with Anne Merritt. It's going to go with year one first of all. Well done to Katie L in 1W for completing all our daily challenges brilliantly and for always brightening our day with her happy smile. It's nice to hear. Zanza in 1W for some fabulous home learning, including some wonderful work on money. Liana M in 1W for consistently brilliant home learning, Zoom involvement and always trying her best. Well done, Liana. Isla R for some simply fabulous reading and for being so keen to learn. Wonderful. And then in 1H, Hudson F for his endless enthusiasm and 100% effort with all his work during lockdown. Ophelia M for her fabulous tales and pirate jokes, which have kept us all laughing. Emma E for very thoughtful and hard work on our kind kindness hands well done and theo t for excellent focus and contributions during our during our during our zoom sessions well done year one in year two lydia s in 2c for fantastic division by making equal groups of rubbers and cubes great use of resources lydia amelia a for drawing her equal groups carefully and clearly to solve division problems. Eleanor J for drawing her equal groups brilliantly to solve division problems and writing out the times and division number sentences. George A for working so hard on his phonics skills and having so much fun using the Phonics Play website. Well done, George. And then in 2B, Leah O for working hard during Zoom lessons and sharing her wonderful work on Dojo. Henry F for his terrific Titanic model, well done. 5S for marvellous maths using times and divide. And Oscar W for working so hard on his cursive handwriting, well done year two. Year three, in 3A, well done to Lacey T for entertaining everyone whilst playing Victorian parlour games. Luca A, for working hard to complete challenging money number problems. Well done, Luca. Olivia H, for sharing fantastic ideas in our math Zooms. Summer Y, for completing her work at home and in school to a very high standard. And then in 3M, Henry B for creating a wonderful lost poster for Dogger. Henry used lots of wonderful adjectives. Isla R for excellent enthusiasm and contributions in Zoom lessons. Also for getting into the spirit of our topic on the Victorians and playing parlour games with Mummy and Daddy. And on that note, you, Mummy and Daddy Rumsey, also <laughs> have got a merit award for maintaining Isla's enthusiasm for learning and in particular for getting into the spirit of the topic on Victorians and playing parlour games with Isla. Well done. Josh B for working really hard to improve your maths and in particular your knowledge of money, for being a lovely brother and including Thomas to play shopkeepers. That's really nice, Josh. 
Phoenix V for a lovely Victorian illuminated letter, piece of artwork and for responding well to suggestions to improve focus in Zoom lessons. Well done, Phoenix. Floyd W for sharing your fabulous creative writing with us in a Zoom lesson. That's year three. Well done to year three. And then in year four, in 4F, Freddie O for working hard on his home learning and producing some brilliant work, especially his maths. Well done, Freddie. William B for writing a lovely book review of The Lion and the Unicorn. Brilliant character descriptions. Bethany P for an excellent contributions made in our Zoom sessions and amazing home learning. The World War II scones looked delicious. Isabella M for a consistent high standard of home learning. I especially love your beautiful painted blitz background and silhouette, says Mrs Taylor. And then in 4S, well done to Matteo M for producing lots of amazing work this term and for always working really hard, well done. Lola L for excellent work identifying the characteristics of living things and creating a classification key to sort different species. Sky M for always working really hard and for being fabulous with fractions. Ruby H for always trying her best and making wonderful contributions in our Zoom lessons. Very well done to year four. And then in year five, year five, look, 5M, you have a gold merit, which is fantastic. And your gold merit is for producing amazing alien models, fantastic theme park leaflets, and for their all-round adaptability and effort this half term, amazing 5M, well done. And 5F, you also have a gold merit. And yours is for excellent attention, enthusiasm and hard work this half term. Very well done, 5F. Also in year five, we have Yasin R for his wonderful detailed answers for this week's reading comprehension on parachutes. Zach G for always completing his home learning on time and to a great standard. Well done, Zach. Tom G for successfully using a range of grammar to create persuasive paragraphs for his theme park leaflet. Felix A for persuasive paragraphs for his theme park leaflet, which show off his grammar skills well. Sam B for excellent work over this half term in creating vector drawings. Very well done to year five. And then in year six, six C, Maisie B for consistently producing work of the very highest quality. You warm my heart and make me smile on the coldest days, says Mrs Cartmel. Sophie H for being a home learning superstar. Your work has blown me away. Incredible dedication. Lyra C for being consistently hard working in school and for completing every piece of work to the very best of her ability. Cameron M for producing an incredible pack of work on all your home learning, but especially your Ronaldo biography. Ruby A for showing great resilience with her remote learning, asking for extra Zoom time where required. Mia H for wonderful contributions in class discussions and a very high standard of written work. Harry G for increased participation and standard with his remote learning. Well done, Harry. And Daisy E for recreating her amazing work ethic at home. Really impressive standard. And then Mr Todd's added on the end, shame about the Liverpool shirt. Well done, all of you. You've been amazing with your work and your effort all the way through. I'm so proud of you and I really hope that you're going to have a fantastic break from all that hard work next week. Well done. That was our merits. Going to go on to our Head Teachers Awards this week. In 1H we've got Albie S, Braxton L, Grace B, Jensen B, Mabel V, Poppy C, Sophia L and Adam P 
and all of your Head Teachers Awards are for outstanding home learning and incredible effort for the whole half term. You are superstars, says Miss Parnell and Miss Mrs. Hammond. So very well done to those children. And then we have Harry T in 5F for working incredibly hard at home on such a wide range of activities and for his positive contributions to all Zooms. Jake D in 6C for his endless enthusiasm and contributions to all Zooms. You have kept Mrs Cartmel smiling all day, well done. Eva W in 5F for completing and uploading a wide range of high quality work across the curriculum, well done Eva. Dylan H in 5M for an amazing range of top quality work throughout lockdown. Brilliant Dylan, very well done. Oliver P in 5M for an amazing range of top quality work throughout lockdown. Brilliant Ollie, very well done. Sophie L in 3A for reading so much at home and achieving her accelerated reader target already. Brilliant Sophie, good girl. Freya R in 4F for fantastic contributions on Zoom and for completing home learning tasks to such a high standard. Daisy G in 4S for outstanding work and effort throughout the whole of this half term. We are so proud of you, Daisy. Well done. Harrison D in 4S also for outstanding work and effort throughout the whole of this half term. We're also really proud of you, Harrison. Well done. Emily M in 5M for her confident, enthusiastic and hardworking approach to lockdown schooling and for having to endure Mr M's hopeless jokes. Well done, Emily. Jack K in 3M for always completing his work to the highest standard and an amazing video discussing his nan's Victorian doll's house. Well done, Jack. Isla P for an amazing range of top quality work throughout lockdown. Very well done, Isla. And Isla is in 5M. And then Danny C in 4S for outstanding work and effort throughout the whole of this half term. We are so proud of you, Danny. So it's our Children's Head Teachers Awards. We then have some parent nominations this week. Very well done to Stephanie Brunton for being such a kind and thoughtful person and surprising another family with a treasure hunt. Thank you. The Hollingdales for taking time to offer support and kindness and handing a delivery of a lovely gift of, over another family after suffering. The Hollingdales for taking time to offer support and kindness and hand delivering a lovely gift after another family suffered a bereavement. Your family are so thankful. Jo Barnes for juggling home parenting, teaching, a degree and checking on her rainbows and brownies and for volunteering to help with cubs and for being such a supportive friend. Well done, Jo. Rebecca Hazelton for her amazing efforts juggling homeschooling and working from home and for always thinking of others in these difficult times. Vicky Henderson for working days and nights at the hospital and managing Zoom lessons and for always helping and supporting others. And Tim Rush for working hard on his days off as a police officer within the Sussex community on a special COVID support team. Thank you to all of the Sussex police for keeping us safe. So that's our Head Teachers Awards. Well done to everybody. Our accelerated reader this week, we have gone up 3.7 million words since last week, which is absolutely incredible, isn't it? Well done. In our year two competition, in second place, we have 2C and in first place, we have 2B. Well done to 2B. In our year three, four competition, in fourth place, we have 3A. In third place, we have 3M. In second place, we have 4F. And the winners, very well done to 4S. And then in our year five and six competition, in fourth place, we have 5M. Third place, we have 5F. Second place, we have 6T. 
And with 22 million words in first place, a huge well done to 6C, fantastic 6C. We've also got some individual certificates. For reading 100,000 words, we have Reese in 2B. Very well done, Reese. You're one of our youngest to get a certificate. Good boy. We have Ernie in 3A, has got his 100,000 words. Brilliant, Ernie. Well done. And then with 250,000 words, we have Eva B in 5F, Daisy C in 6T, Aston G in 6C, Evan S in 6C. So very well done to all of those children with their 250,000 words. Then with half a million, so 500,000 words, huge well done to Kian B in 6C, Sophie H in 6C, Tia P in 6C, Millie B in 6T. And then we're up to our 750,000 words, a huge well done to Sam W in 6T. Josh B in 6C, Jake D in Year 6, Blake in 6T, Avea in 5F. And we are then on to our millionaires. So we have Mia H in 6T is a millionaire. She's read a million words. Very well done to Mia. Yasin in 5F, millionaire as well. Fantastic, Yasin. And then we have, these are unbelievable, uh, Maisie B and Alex B in year six, 6C, three million words since September. Absolutely amazing. I think that's probably one of the highest we've had. And to have two of you, absolutely incredible. So well done to our accelerated readers. Okay, we're going to do our daily readers now. So we're going to spin the wheel to see which lucky numbers are drawn. So these are all the children that have read every day. So let's spin the wheel first and see who we have got. We've got 106 and 106 is Sophia L in one edge. Well done, Sophia. Fantastic. Let's spin the wheel again. is Darcy F in 1W. Well done, Darcy. Let's spin the wheel again. This time we have number 40. Number 40 is on our list. Theo B in 2B. Well done to Theo. And then our final spin. And we have number 39. Number 39 is Grace B in 1H. So very well done to all of our daily readers. Good job. Now we're on to our times table rock star. So we're going to go through the, the leader table first of all. So in year two, well done in third place to Reese D, in second place to Theo B, and in first place to Fife S. Well done. In year three, in third place, Fraser T, in second place, Imogen T, and in first place in year three, well done to Cassius S. Good job. In year four, in third place, well done to Olivia A. In second place, to Jake S. And in first place, to Connie S. In year five on the leaderboard, in third place, Tom G. In second place, Layla W. And in first place, well done to Eva B. And finally, in year six on our leaderboard, in second place, Martha W. And in first place, Finley M. Great job. We've also got some certificates. So we have got a silver rock star for Fife in 2B, a silver rock star for Theo in 2B. They've got 7,500 more correct answers. We have a bronze for Bella in 4F, and we have a gold for Fife in 2B. 
That's 10,000 more correct answers. Very well done to five. That was our times table rock stars. Our numbots, very exciting because lots of you have obviously started your numbots, which is brilliant. So we've got lots of certificates. So there's different levels to go through and you collect different um, robots. So and you can see, I think I showed you, you have different colours. So this one is an iron robot. And then we have things like the rust robot. So you can see he's a different colour. So well done to these children. So Wesley W in 2B has got his iron. John K in 2B has got his rust. Sansa in 1W has got her iron. Sansa has also got her rust, which is brilliant. Well done, Sansa. That's two. Oakley has got his uh, iron in 1W. Jensen B in 1B has got his iron. Mabel V has got her iron in 1B. Uh, Caro in 1B has got her rust. Hunter in 1W has got his iron. And Hunter has also got his rust. Well done, Hunter. You've been very busy. And then we have Jensen M in RJ. So another reception. That's brilliant. Has got his iron. Theo J in reception has got his rust. Darcy R in reception has got her rust. Sophia has got her rust in RF. Well done, Sophia. Hendrix has got his rust in RF. Alice B has got her iron in RF. Violet G has got her rust certificate in RF. Jocelyn has got her iron, she's in RF. And Sophie in RF has got her rust. Amazing and lovely to see so many reception children with certificates. So we look forward to giving those to you when you get back to school. And then our leaderboard. So we've got certificates for first, second and third for reception year one and year two. So if we start with reception in third place this week for the biggest increase in correct answers. Very well done to Jocelyn in RF. In second place, well done to Jensen M in RJ. And in first place, there you go, this is the first place certificate. I'm sure you can see well done to Alice B and Alice is in RF. Fantastic. Then in year one, let's have a look at our leaderboard for there. We have got in third place, Poppy C. In second place, we have Sansa and she's 1W. And also in 1W, the winner this week, very well done to Hunter. Oh, great job. And then in... Year two, in third place, well done to Ruby D. In second place, well done to Theo B from 2B. And in 2B also, the winner this week, well done to Henry F with his first place certificate. Great job. And I don't know if I did you, so I'm going to do you again because I think I showed your certificate. This is Wesley. Well done to Wesley. And he collected his iron certificate for 2B. Very well done for all our numbots. Fantastic. Obviously... I would like you to have a lovely rest over half term, but if you just do anything, perhaps you can have a go at those. So very well done. I just wanted to wish you all an amazing half term. Please have a great rest. Um, have some fun. There will be uh, Mr. Massingiri is going to be sending you a challenge. Beat Mr. Massingiri. Uh, I'll send you some details uh, where you can complete some couple of sporting activities. You can do it with your family and see if you can beat Mr. Massingiri for a certificate. Other than that, I hope that you manage to have a lovely rest and a break from screen time. Obviously, we've expect you to be on Zoom. I expect you to complete lots of work. So hopefully you can have a bit of a break from the screen. You can spend some time outside. You can spend some time lounging around, but really just having a, a proper rest because you've been amazing. Mums and dads, nans, granddads, thank you for all of your support. I hope you also have a bit of a break and I hope that the pressure of school is removed by half term. Take care, all of you. Stay safe and we look forward to seeing you again after half term. Take care of all of you. Bye bye.